check it out. We have a shower pan. Now let's figure out how we did it. So first he starts by making sure that all of the openings in the shower are completely sealed. Schluter provides a seal for any kind of opening that you may have in the membrane. And you can see him, he is making sure that the one that has the actual shower head is covered. And now he's down here working on the one that the hand held. Just wanna make sure that those are really, really good and sealed. Nobody wants a leaky shower. You can see he's making sure that they are flat as well. Now what's he gonna do? Yeah, he's ready to go onto the floor now. First, better cut that stuff. Yeah, you need to cut all of that tile for the pan first. And then you get to actually start by covering the curb with the curdy band. You all have seen some previous videos where he used the curdy band. And it is basically the smaller pieces of the membrane that he used to cover the shower walls. And now he puts it over the curb. You have to make sure that the base of the shower is completely waterproof. And the curdy band allows you to cover that curb and make sure that the seal going into the shower pan is created so that all water goes to the drain. Now you can see him starting to put down the all set. He makes a very even layer of that. You see how picky he is with his trowels. He makes sure that all the lines are going the right direction and that the level of the all set is all even. So when he goes to put the tile in, which you can see him starting there, you get a very flat shower pan. It's really important that that shower pan, all the tile that you're laying on that shower pan is down and it's very, very level. Nobody wants a sharp piece, that's not fun. Also, it want, you want it to make it very, very level so the water drains really easy into the drain as well. And you can see him going around the edges right there. He is cutting every single one of those little pieces so that the design looks like it goes right into the curb. So don't shortcut it. Make sure you cut all those small little pieces. That makes a really finished product. Don't cheat with the grout. Make sure it goes all the way to the curb. Then your finished product looks amazing. And there you have it. You can see all these details right there along the bottom. You can see the curb has been put on with some smoother trim, which looks beautiful. Here's your final product. It turned out fabulous. As you can see, this project is really starting to come together. He's got all of the end caps on all of the cabinets. He has all the toe kicks installed. We got granite ordered. The cabinet that he built, custom built, they have requested to have a door on the top, so he has a little more work to do on that one. That's just the cabinet above the eating area. It's beautiful, lines up perfect with everything that we've chosen. The other part about this room that you don't really see yet is all the lights are installed. So we are looking at this from a different perspective. You can see the row that used to have wires hanging out of it is gone. And you can see that the lights have been installed as well. Beautiful look, beautiful look. And as we walk into the nice little cute bathroom, you are going to notice it's starting to take shape. And so he is ready now to install the ceiling, which you can see that's all done except for one piece, I think beautiful smells amazing too nice light in there tons of light and it's gonna get brighter I think he has toe kick and in cap left on that cabinet but the floors turned out beautiful and I think you're gonna like how we do the trim around the edge that curb oh the shower pan so beautiful so beautiful and now Guess what? Time to cover the walls. Yes, we're going to use galvanized tin again. There are a few tricks that we have learned with galvanized tin. You have to be extremely accurate. Every single hole has to be cut exactly properly. There's no give in this. There's no cover up. You have to have every single solitary piece perfect. So I'm glad he's really picky. Otherwise, this process would not be very 
detail oriented and it would not look near as good as it does. You can see how he ended that piece into a Schluter piece um, along the edge, that black piece, and then that black continues all the way down into the curb. And you can see how it comes across. Oh, just such a pretty piece. And as the tent starts to go up in this bathroom, there is definitely a change in the overall lightness of this room. This room gets really bright really quick. And there's actually only two lights in this bathroom. It's beautiful though. Changes the entire look of this space, brightens it up so much. That actually just sits down on the shower pan and then he'll go around the bottom and conquer it. We made an extra little piece that comes out around. And you now see this beautiful piece at the end. There's your shot walking into the bathroom. The detail is awesome in here. He's done a fabulous job. Stay tuned so you can see what this bathroom ends up looking like. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.